If you were to believe the religious folk, uh, you would think that there is a uh, rampant uprising of demonic possession, which actually should have been always here. Um, like, no matter what, what it is, if it's something they don't like, it's due to demonic possession. Or, if they don't understand it, like various medical disorders, demonic possession. Here we'll have a Republican pastor by the name of E.W. Jackson who claims that the reason why transgender people like to use gender, the gender neutral pronouns like uh, they or them is because they are possessed by demons. Well, you know what I say? I say, you know, this whole thing of going to a plural pronoun, to me, it is a subconscious spiritual admission of demon possession by multiple demons. Yeah, the only person, only single individual I'm familiar with in scripture who, who spoke from the plural pronoun was legion. Have you come to torment us before the time, <laughs> you know, right? Because he had a legion of demons in him. I mean, think about that. You don't, you're not to be referred to by the singular pronoun, he or she, but by the plural pronoun, they. Well, who's the they in there? We know who the they in there is, a bunch of devils. <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, look, I'm not the one who came up with this, call them they. The demonization tactic has been used for, you know, pretty much throughout history. These people are, are you know, they do this because they're demons and they're like this because it's demonic possession. But it's... These people are just paranoid. They believe in this idea that demons exist and that they can possess people. And then claim that people they don't agree with are demon-possessed in order to um, invalidate their group. Um, it's... You know, it's one of the most used task, task, tactics by uh, Christians and a lot of religious people. These people are bad because Satan is controlling them. These people are bad because they're possessed by demons. This way of thinking is horrible because demonic possession. And it's, it's actually, it's, it's just an old tactic. And that people still follow. I mean, I mean, you're if I mean if you have a cult, I mean, a great way to you know get them to want to stick around is by claiming that they're they're in some kind of battle against unseen forces, and then you can claim whoever you want to be influenced by this unseen force to get them to want to rally against it. With Christians, it's homosexuals, transsexuals, atheists, and pretty much anyone who doesn't agree with what they say. It's, it's, it's rather idiotic that these people still want to believe in such bullshit as a demonic possession. Jackson has stated in one of his books while giving to the poor is important, the most powerful giving for wealth building is upward giving. Uh, upward giving for uh, is giving money to people who are already, you know, pretty wealthy, so they can build even more. It's like when you know rich people say they need, you know, tax breaks so they can build and make jobs. For example, as you read this book, you may feel a deep spiritual affinity for the things I am teaching and therefore a profound spiritual kinship with me. We, nev we may never meet in person, but you can draw on the anointing which God has placed on my life by sowing into my ministry. 
which pretty much is give me money and God will make you rich. And this is probably why he's interested in politics because it's a way of getting money. This, this guy is just completely greedy and he knows he can use people that follow him to give him more money. All they gotta do is make them afraid and tell them a bunch of lies and they will follow.